This is really, honestly, at its heart about distributed food production. You know, about distributing food production to address food security issues, to address consumer choices, to address food deserts, to address nutritional problems in communities. I feel like we've created a game changer. I feel like this system is is the best system out there. Not just because it's productive, not just because it's simple, not just because it's accessible and relatively inexpensive compared to a lot of the other big at scale uh, type of systems out there, but because it was designed to address the problems that small consumer, uh, producers face. So it was designed to address the labor crunch. It was designed to address uh, the, the issues, like the difference between manufacturing and um, in uh, greenhouse environments or warehouse production environments where you're moving the process to the product. We came at that and we said, no, let's do this like a manufacturing process and let's move the product to the process. So let's think about efficiency here. Let's think about the things that kill people uh, when they're not at scale. The things that have made these facilities inaccessible because you have to do it at this massive scale uh, in order to make it work. Well, we looked at those problems. What, what are those problems you know, exactly? We're talking about labor. We're talking about space use. We're talking about heavy equipment and machinery and basically the cost of uh, you know, rolling around a facility in a, in, a, in a scissor lift or what have you. We looked at all that stuff and we said, we can use um, good design and we can use math and we can use our history and our knowledge of the industry and of these plants and these um, lights and all of these factors that create this system. And we can create something that overcomes all of those traditional hurdles to small producers. All of the things that you have to be at scale to make work. So with this system, we've basically taken that stuff and we've um, simplified it. We've made it possible for a guy in, in a garage, essentially, to start growing commercially, right? Now, a guy in a garage with that much space, he's not gonna you know, have, have a huge operation, but it's a starting point. And it's an entry point for a lot of small growers that wanna serve their communities.